Hi, this is Brandon I. Brooks, managing editor with the LA Sentinel newspaper and the LA Watch Times newspaper. We are here at the 48th annual NAACP Image Award red carpet, and we have a legend in our presence. Do I need to say any more? Mr. Mario Van Peebles, how you doing, sir? I'm the, I, that sounds like I'm old. My dad is a legend. You got legendary projects, so one, if, whether you're a legend, young or old, you're a legend. You better take it. I brought, I brought the legacy, so if I'm the legend, he's the annuity. All right. Yeah. But you're part of a legacy, too. A lot of people, it was past, so this is generation. Second, not a third. So let's talk about that, how you originally, share with people. A lot of people may not know about your father and, the, and how you originally got in the business. Share with people. Well, well my dad always jokes that, that he got it. I said, Dad, how'd you get the top? He said they didn't let me in at the bottom. Now what that meant was he understood show business was a business. And he said, you know, out in California, you have to understand the golden rule of Hollywood is he who has the gold makes the rules. So he took his money, he started making his own independent films, he built up a little cachet so he, he could do his own thing. So I got to see early on my dad not just play ball, but own the team. Not just act, but direct. Not just, you know, be in behind the camera, in front of the camera, being being back of the camera, and so that's part of the legacy that I try to pass on. Because otherwise, you're not in a position to make change the way we need to constantly make change. And before yeah. I go to the next generation, I have to ask you about diversity. I've been asking a lot of people that question. With Black Press, we're always pushing the cause. But tell us about Hollywood. And your family's been on the front lines, and you being a creator and someone putting out films and showing the independence so that people can do. But tell us about diversity in Hollywood. What do you think? Where are we at now? And where where will we be? I think as Mandela was saying, I think we're seeing uh, more diversity in television now, little by little. Um, and you're seeing sisters like Issa Rae make her own, do her own thing and then go from, you know, awkward to insecure. And she's anything but insecure. She's a, she, she's a bad sister. So I think diversity doesn't just mean brothers, it means the sisters, it means our, our Native American brothers especially. We don't see a lot of Native American folk. Um, our Hispanic brothers and sisters, all of us. The more that we all take credit, the more that we all step up, the more that we can ensure that we don't end up getting trumped. If you, if you stay in the background, if you don't vote with your dollar, if you don't vote with what you watch, if you don't participate in a live way, you're left out of the conversation. We have to stay in the conversation. Democracy is a car. You take your foot off the gas, the car will slow down. Uh, so we have the next generation here. I, I know he didn't bring you here just to watch, so tell us what's going on. And what, are you, what are you currently working on? Well, we were here for the for Roots. He directed Roots. I was I was in night two, and um, I think that's a big a big one for a lot of people. Wonder why retell a classic? What can we gain from retelling Roots? And I feel like it's more for this generation. You know, we need to hear this again, and we need to see my character in Roots. I play somebody who fought for his education, fought for his literacy, fought for his freedom. And we need characters, we need people to look up to on screen that show kids it's cool to be smart. It's cool to want to be educated. It's cool to, you know, be a man, you know. I feel like our generation sometimes is all trying to meet at the lowest common denominator as far as music or movie. You know, it's just some, t and that's fine. It's good to have choice though. So I think with Roots, it's important to be able to look and say what we're leaving behind is this going to make our ancestors happy? And I think the character I played in Roots would be happy of the man I am. And he fought for his literacy and his freedom, and I just graduated from Loyola Marymount University. So I'm like, I'm trying to do it the right way, and yeah, but. Well, you came obviously from a good pops and a good grandfather. And last question, what about, are you going to be direct? Are you going to be taking the role of, it's, it's, it's the lead, you got a lot of pressure, but what's up? What, what's up? We work up, we have a great working relationship and a great father and son relationship, but he's my mentor, you know, so he just directed a, a project and I co-produced it, so I, I wasn't in front of the camera on that, I'm trying to get, get my behind the scenes, exactly, and then something set, we work together and separate, I just finished the, uh, the next Saw movie, it's a prequel. Uh, so that's you know, comes that's out cool. This summer, right? Yeah, and it comes out Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Yeah. So yeah, thank yeah, yeah. you. I appreciate both your time. Definitely an absolute pleasure. Thank you for stopping. And best of luck, brother. Yeah. God bless.